Hello friends, welcome to the next session. In this session, we are going to see how to get a right linear grammar converted to the left linear grammar. Let's get started. So if you observe the procedure to convert a RLG to LLG, the first step is to get the RLG converted into an equivalent finite automata. This we already know how to convert. We have done a lot of this type of problem in the previous videos. So the next step says, from this finite automata, interchange the start state and the final state, reverse the direction on all the edges and finally construct the regular grammar from this finite automata. Let's see a problem on the same. So the question over here says, convert the given RLG into equivalent LLG and following are the productions which are given. So as per the step one, we are expected to convert this into a equivalent finite automata. So let's do that. So we have states that are four. One is S, next we have B, we have a C and we do have a D and D is the final state and S is my start state. So going ahead I say S on small b goes to B, B on small b goes to C, B on small a goes to B so that's a cyclic transition then B on small b goes to the final state which we have termed as D and C on small a also goes to the final state which we have termed as D. So that completes my finite automata. The second step says that once you are done with that you are going to interchange the initial state and the final state that is now I will be interchanging my S and D. So let me do that. So my D is going to come over here and of course that will be the final state and my S will take position of D and B remains as it is as well as C remains as it is. Now once that is done there is one more step. And that step says reverse the direction on all the edges. So let's do that. So that's the reason I'm sketching the diagram side by side so that we can have a correlation in the diagram. So that is going to take this to this on B. Reversing gives me same. This is C. That is A. And here it is going to give me a beyond B. So that completes the reversing. Once we are done with reversing, the last step says construct regular grammar from this finite automata. So let's do that now. So for this, let us construct a regular grammar. So I see over here, my productions are going to be now S on a gives me C. Since it is a right linear grammar, I'll be writing it like this. But we have to convert it into left linear grammar. So it won't be written like this. We have to write it as S on A goes to C. S on B goes to B. That's it. Then let's write for C. For C, I have C on C goes to B. Then that completes my C. I write it for B. For I have B, B on A goes to B. And B on B goes to final state. Therefore, we simply write slash B over here. Then I also see that B on B goes to D. So we write B goes to D and D is having no outgoing transitions. So, so now that is a very important observation that D is having no outgoing transitions and therefore I say that my D is be going to be called as a non-generating 
state since a state is not generating anything we have to delete all the productions of d and all the productions that are using d that is now this thing will be deleted and of course there are no productions of d therefore there is no question of doing all these things and whatever we are left with it that is the thing which i am putting in this particular box will be called as my equivalent left linear grammar so that's the procedure to convert a right linear grammar to equivalent left linear grammar see you in the next session thank you